Hey guys, and welcome back to Wasteland 2. Just as a reminder, uh, I'm only not leveling up my party because I'm thinking I could use it as a nice heal, but the moment I employed, the moment I started employing that strategy, the moment it stopped being relevant, apparently, because it, I have not been getting that many fights lately. But yeah, everyone's ready to level up because of all the quests we've been doing. So I just gave, last episode, Gustavo a 50 caliber anti-material rifle, which just is so hilariously powerful that I'm just happy to have it. That complements the Proton Axe we have on Airtan here, which I believe these are probably just the final tier of weapons in the game, right? Because we're... I think this is the last sort of open world quest hub location before... Like, there's no, there's no locations left on the map, really, at this point. So I think at that point, it's just whatever our confrontation with Matthias is ultimately going to be, because he's talking about attacking Ranger Citadel. And I assume that's the end of the game, basically. So I'm going to try to get more final tier weapons, but I need more money first. And I only have those two. I definitely want to get, in particular, a better pistol for our pistol character, Purnell, because his guns are very outdated. And I want that giant glowing hammer for a Scary Sally, because of course I want the giant glowing hammer instead of the cinder block weapon while I do the final confrontation. But anyway, last episode, we found out that Veronica was in love with the leader of the... Church of... Spying, or whatever they called it. I forgot the exact word a little bit, but uh... Basically, we got them to, to communicate with each other and realize who each other are, and we've we've set things up so that Veronica will become the leader of Hollywood once they vote. But first, we, we need to try to make this guy the leader of all of the God's Militia. So we've joined his little sub-church, or whatever we're going to call these things, and now he wants us to find dirt on the leader of this place so that we can turn him into the leader by uh, getting him uh, impeached, basically. This place just goes off in various directions, doesn't it? So I don't know anything about this place, because we, we got into Griffin Park, Griffith Park, uh, using a tunnel that led directly from Hollywood. So we seem to have bypassed what the entire process where they were setting up this whole gauntlet thing, which seemed like it would be a big deal. So we'll see how that goes. This guy's following me around because he's looking for his brother who joined the God's Militia. Maybe we'll see him around here somewhere, too. So where are we? The no. Is that you? I was only... Oh. Hello. You must be the new aspirants. Here's Fealty, which is... This is, a uh, Malevolent? Mal... These names are always hard to remember. There's so many characters in this game. But it's, it's Mayweather's wife, which I Mal, think... Is that you? I think he suggested that she I abuses only... him, right? I mean, he oh. abuses her. Hello. You must be the new aspirants. Yes, I'm trying to talk to you. Before you is a stunningly beautiful woman in a white woman's business suit. Oh, a white women's business suit. I thought you said, <laughs> I'm like, well, what makes it a white woman business, business suit? I'm like, oh, you mean it's the color? Okay, okay. <laughs> With a jacket and skirt. Uh, though she tries to project cheer and love for the church, she has a haunted look and a black eye. Welcome to the chapel, aspirants, and my congratulations on making it through the gauntlet of Samson. I am Sister Preacher Fealty Mayweather, wife of Evangelist Malediction Mayweather. I'm sorry my husband could not personally tell you of the church ecstatic, but he is unfortunately too busy with his holy duties. May was I that, help you? Was that a Canadian sorry that I heard? What do you know about the church ecstatic? The church of static is head and heart of the Salvation Church. We are the ones who interpret the teachings of James King and Red Samson and turn them into law. We are also the ones who bring those teachings to the lost and wicked of the wasteland, preaching the good word and welcoming into the church those who wish to follow the path to salvation. An aspirant who wishes to enter the church of static should be intelligent, charismatic, and ready to spend several years studying scripture and canon law. What a visually distinct room. I would of course welcome you to the Aesthetics, but if you haven't visited the other branches of the church, please do so. They have much to offer an eager aspirant. I love that everyone just assumes that I did the gauntlet and I'm an aspirant, so... Like, everyone's just ready to elect just to recruit me the mo when all I did was go walk through a tunnel in the middle of their organization. That's pretty great. Who is Sims? Who... who told you that name? He was my... my late husband. Please, forgive me. I don't wish to speak of it. How did you get that black eye? It's nothing. I, I fell against a candlestick. 
There's an imprint of a ring on your eyelid. I appreciate your concern, but it was an accident, nothing more. I'm looking for evidence on Mayweather. I can't help you. I'm sorry, I don't have the will to fight anymore. Well, that gives away everything, that she's definitely being abused and she's just giving up. All right. What do, you, what do you know about Heidi Hollander? A whore and a defiler of innocence. A seducing witch who lures good, upstanding men to adultery and debauchery. I pray that God strikes her with the most virulent of diseases and makes the rest of her life a misery. Oh, wow. That's pretty scummy. But, uh, that's pretty much what I'd expect people in here to say about people over there. Uh... Witch. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about her. Do you know her? Certainly not. I've heard stories. That's all. It has nothing to do with me. Always pleasant to just openly insult somebody and wish horrible doom upon them, and that when you never met them, they've probably never wronged you personally. Oh well. May God light your journey, Ranger. Is she crying? Evil doesn't cry. Evil rules. Then maybe she's not evil. Maybe she's a victim of spousal abuse. You idiot, monkey man. Hello. Most of the books on the shelf are copies of the James King Bible, though you notice a few books about weapon maintenance and astronomy. There's a distribution right there. Anything going on around here? The Story of Samson Part 1. A red leather-bound tome that tells this tale of Samson, founder of the Salvation Church in Gaza Militia. Did I read that already? I feel like I already read Samson's story. Although, in general, I think I'm just getting a little tired of hearing about God's militia and their beliefs. It's, a uh, There is a lot of literature on it, which is not entirely unexpected. But dear lord, you could just get sucked into reading about this or hearing about it from characters for a long time. So what's down here? This must be the third church, right? Church of the Militant. Alright. So the, the, the three branches are lawmakers, law enforcers, and spies, basically. More or less what you'd probably expect. Is that another piece of the- yep, part two? Part four. Part three somewhere. Hello all you people. Just gonna wander around fully armed in the middle of your base, don't mind me. Part three. Is there a door over there? Jones's private chambers doesn't look like there's a way in unless you want to just break in, but I feel like that would end poorly for us, too Looks like there's enough room to place an item on this table, but what item? Huh, so we found four parts parts of the Bible. Let's talk to this guy Retribution is a tall thin man with a high forehead and cold glint in his eyes. He wears body armor under his militia uniform. I guess he's not as important because they didn't give him voice acting. Samson's hammer, you're pathetic. What are you supposed to be, cowboys? This is an army, not a costume party. And I am supposed... And I suppose you're here to join up with a church militant. Damnation. The things God sends to test me, I swear. Now speak up. Why are you pencil necks cluttering in my office? Alright, so he's friendly. Tell us about the church militant. The church militant is the bravest, most well-trained, best-equipped military force in the in the wastelands. I would beg to differ that. I guess there's more of you. That might be it. Add to that our God-inspired strength and ferocity, and we are unbeatable. An all-conquering army that will scourge the earth of sinners and establish the glorious empire of God for eternity. At least, we will if Mayweather and the church ecstatic ever pull their thumbs out of their asses and give us the go-ahead. What do you know about Malediction Mayweather? I know he's the leader of the church and all. I wish he'd... I, I just wish he'd lead. He keeps saying that he's waiting for intelligence from McDade before he moved to ho on Hollywood, but I don't see the need. We've got more than enough firepower to turn those whores to, uh, and ass bandits into red mist. And what are we waiting for? Something s stinks in the chapel, if you ask me, and I only hope that God chooses to expose what it is before it's too late. I'm pretty sure that, uh... I'm sure McDade is probably intentionally uh, delaying so that he doesn't have to deal so he can avoid this whole forward progress towards the problem here. Tell us about McDade. If you ask me, the head of the church vigilant has his eyes shut. That whining skeleton just doesn't have the heart in his work anymore. He hasn't got us any actionable intelligence in weeks. 
He was supposed to find ways to turn that coven of perverts in Hollywood against each other and weaken the place from the within, but all he does is mope around in his question room reading books. And they're not even the Bible. If God doesn't see fit to strike him down for stalling, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be his instrument and break my foot and up his skinny white ass. Or skinny little ass. Let's hear about Hollywood. A cancerous boil on the face of the earth. A coven of sinners and sodomites that needs to be scou- uh... Scoured back, uh, black and with blood and holy fire. I don't know why Mayweather is holding back from attacking it. We could have purged that cancer long ago. I've been marching on to bigger and better crusades, that, but that blowhard just won't pull the trigger. All right, good God, go with you, Rangers. That was a surprisingly jovial statement compared to everything else he was saying. So he's just a general scumbag that just wants to shoot everybody and warmonger and take over everything. So compared to him, may, uh, Malediction may be a better person to have in power, but obviously the uh, we want we want to have a certain change to get into an even better situation. Damn, they need to paint everything black, but otherwise, this place is awesome. How much would you paint black? Everything here is green practically, like plants and stuff. This place looks big, like too big. Sister Preacher Constance Yee. Greetings, novices. Welcome to the Bastion of Faith, your new home. And praise God... I lost it. Uh... And praise God for your triumph in the Gauntlet of Samson. What? Well, they still think we did it. That's great. We got to... We just... We are con just considered victors because we're here. As you enter the Bastion compound, a diminutive uh, Chinese woman dressed in the traditional red polyester leisure sh suit and blonde pompadour wig of the church ecstatic uh, spreads her arms in welcome. I am Sister Preacher Constance Yi, the Bastion's official greeter and guide, and I would be happy to help you get your bearings here among God's chosen. Would you like some directions, or would you like to explore on your own? Uh, we'll explore. Excellent. This church is always pleased to welcome novices with a take charge attitude. One thing, however, before you go, pretty soon you will want to choose which branch of the church you would like to join. May I suggest visiting each of the branches by speaking with our leaders before making a final decision? You may find that your perfect fit was not what you expected. Oh my god, it, it, they just keep talking. Happy to help, but just one more thing before you go. Pretty soon you will want to choose- oh, wait, that's what you just said, never mind. Yeah, that's basically what you just said. So Brother Thomas has not freaked out about the fact that we straight up joined one of the churches. Oh. Oh my god, Brother Thomas, you shaved! What are you doing here? They'll kill you. Just keep your head down, sister. She had to finish that long piece of dialogue before they would, uh... Before they would react. What's this? An eyeball sits in a display case? Whose eyeballs? Can I do anything with this? I can lockpick it? I'm sorry, why- why is there eyeballs? <laughs> I have to know. I have to know about this thing. Is anyone gonna notice me? Are there a bunch of people? It, are, they're all guarding the eyeball on the other side of the wall, aren't they? Sims's eye, the left eye of Night Paladin Redemption Sims. The iris is a pleasing green. Excuse me. Um. That seems rather noteworthy. Uh, ma'am, we found your husband's eyeball. Like. Five feet outside the front door. Did you know about that? Ma'am? Where are you, ma'am? Uh, I feel like we have some things to discuss. It's just, what? It was just sitting outside in the open? Welcome back. Have you decided to join the church as static after all? No. Oh, well, I would be happy to discuss your choice with you anytime you choose. I love the way we introduced. I love the way we introduced this. Have a look at this. What is this? I know that eye. I know that green. Tell me how you got it. Tell me. Sanctity is the man that killed Sims. Do I know that? I don't know. Getting rid of him seems good, though, right? <laughs> oh, merciful God! Why did you let this happen? All this time, I've blamed myself for being a bad wife, for not loving Malediction as I should, for letting him drift from me into sin because I could not please him. 
And now I learn this, that he killed the man I loved to have me? No wonder he repulsed me. No wonder it was such torture to lie with him. By God, if only I was strong enough to hurt him. If only there was some chance at vengeance. Can we have the evidence? You want evidence of Mal's corruption? Oh, I have that. By God, I do. He would take pictures, videos, himself with whores, with penitents. Then he would flaunt them at me to show me how he wished me to perform my wifely duties. Just wait here one moment. I'll be right back with everything you need. Wow, this has been way more abrupt and open and shut than I ever expected it to be. Am I waiting for her right now? Oh yeah, she wandered off. Um... Oh, here she is. Evidence against malediction Mayweather. Well, that was easy. Anything else? Nope. May God light your journey, Rangers. Another kind soul professing an unkind faith. How strange. Okay, well. Did, did not expect to walk outside for five seconds and immediately find the exact thing that'll give me forward progress, but hey, buddy. Have you found the evidence? Yes. Well done, Rangers. Now all that's left to do is show it to the chapel. This time, the time to reform is at hand. Um, he went and disappeared. Tell me what you did with my papers, you treacherous bitch, or I'll dig your eyes out. I don't care what you do to me, adulterer. I hope you rot in hell. If I do, you'll be there with me, you cunt. I'll... They look identical. <laughs> I have your papers, Mayweather, and having seen them, I'm declaring you unfit to lead the Salvation Church. You are a monster of hypocrisy. Give me those papers, Confessor McDade, or I'll take them off your dead body. You're welcome to try, hypocrite. Now, friends, let's end this tyranny. Rangers, kill these pissants, and I'll make it very much worth your while. Um... Am I go Okay. I guess I'm not taking part in this fight. Oh, thank you, Confessor McDade. You have cleansed this church from corruption and freed me from a sham marriage. I hope you, I owe you my life. I, Confessor McDade, what in God's name have you done? Only as God bade me, Shepard. Look at this. Look what Ev Evangelist Mayweather has been hiding from us. Great God Almighty! I thought something like this was. If I thought something like this was going on, but I had no idea what had gone so far. Yes, it's horrifying, and I don't know how far the, com the corruption has spread, but I intend to find out by taking over the head of the church and leading this infernal investigation before the return of the message. Now, if you let me in this, Shepard, or will you li like me to be the first to put into question? <laughs> I, I, of course I'll help Confessor McDade. The church Milton has always looked to the church vigilant for guidance, and I don't see why that should change. You count on me as you move the Salvation Church toward, uh, forward into the future, I swear it. Thank you, Brother Jones. I believe we will do great things together. Now, excuse me, I must speak to the knights who made it all possible. Holy shit, we joined this organization like 20 minutes ago, and we just changed its leadership. You guys suck. <laughs> you guys all suck. Like, this was easy, apparently. He puts the fucking eyeballs on display in public? How did no one put this together beforehand? How'd the wife not put it together more specifically? I guess she's the only one that really mattered. Oh my god, pseudo chitin armor. T Jesus. Alright, throw that over here on you. Bam. A spaz 12, I'll compare that with your weapon. Bastion radio tower gate key, rosary beads, just dis distribute those accordingly. Um. So you're currently wearing the 7, right? Oh, mobile infantry. Yeah, the pseudo chitin's just flat out better. Oh, seven strength required. Oh no, I don't have the strength? Who has seven strength? Because they're going to wear this. Uh, obviously you. Oh no, no one in the entire party has seven strength. And I have to hit level 40 to buy... I, I won't get another attribute point unless we hit level 40, which I think is basically impossible. Or at least very improbable. Oh well, I guess I got a really expensive piece of armor to sell to make progress towards buying that, uh... The glowy hammer, or the glow, or the cool pistols, or something. Oh well. Um, the other weapon was the shotgun. Wrong way. Um, spaz twelve versus the jackhammer. It is not better, and does not seem to have any particular 
better traits besides having one lower AP cost, but also lower damage, and it does not even out. And lower range, and lower capacity, smaller attack cone. Oh geez, this current weapon has a 45 degree attack cone. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's just a weapon to sell, basically. Alright, I have two items to sell to make more money. Good, because I'm short. Hello? Let's see. Which one am I supposed to talk to? You. Thank you for ridding us of that monster. If you need anything else, I direct you to our our new evangelist, McDade. Oh, weird. It only had an... Ooh, 2,500 scrap. Cool. That'll help, too. Uh, it only said examine, so I was confused. It just said to hit, hit triangle to examine, but then I hit X and it worked anyway. <laughs> Please, take this small token of my appreciation. Thank you again, Rangers. What do you know about James King? Goodbye, Rangers. <laughs> Weird dialogue option there. I, I don't think I was supposed to be showing up that way. Well, I have money now. I guess I'll go upgrade real quick. And, uh... Do I, do I follow up with you? No. Nope. Well, that happened. So we have we basically haven't even set foot in Griffith Park yet, and I think I finished its storyline on accident. <laughs> by stumbling into the solution really fast. Uh, I think I'm going to explore the sewers and uh, Griffith Park still. But first, what I want to do... Wait, what's over here? Simple black mask, nothing special. Oh, that's the mask. That's the mask that made him the bad guy. I mean, the, black, the broken man. Can I hide the table itself? Trying to hit use on the table and it's not working. Why does it say use? We still need to find this guy's brother, too. Yeah, hitting use doesn't seem to do anything. Looks like there's enough room to place an item on the table, but what item? Oh, all th do all three of them, all three locations have a place where you can put something on a wall? Or on, on, a, on a table? Anyway, let's go back and have our election. Uh, I still want to explore the sewers and Griffith Park, but I figure we might as well go with the flow of the narrative, the, the narrative as it develops right now, and then I'll have an episode or two of exploring after we wrap this up. All right, we're back at the brothel. So, so far in the story, every time that I... Let's go ahead and quick save. Every time that I hook up the repeater unit to the radio tower, that's what progresses forward. So as long as I don't hook up the repeater unit, I believe I'm, I'll, I should be free to explore. I don't know if there would be a time limit at that point, or if it'll, like, teleport me somewhere and go towards the conclusion. Because I, I, all I can think that's left in the story is to go against Matthias, right? Once we have the radio tower, when we can go find Angela Death. So for now, I'm just going to avoid putting that up until, I, until I'm satisfied with my exploration of the area and find that guy's brother and everything. He's just kind of been an act, he's just kind of accidentally been a witness to this entire change of, uh, of leadership while just casually following me around like it's no big deal. Is McDade in power at the Bastion yet? Yes. Finally, what a relief. Then let's go to the HCC meeting. It's just the beginning. You're just in time. I'll meet you there. More experience. Dear Lord. They're, everyone's going to level up twice when I hit that button, aren't they? <laughs> with, with how little fighting we've been doing. Well, it's good. All these level ups I'm getting and the money I can use to buy higher level weapons is just going to help mean that I can... Uh... Yeah, that'll, that'll basically mean that I can be really prepared for any final fights that the game has. Let's see. Veronica thanked us for getting the HCC members to support us. She invited us to the meeting to see voting the vote happen, and maybe as security. But where is the meeting? Do I know where the meeting is? Let's see. HSP? Is there HCC? Here we go. It's, it was to the left room inside the brothel. This meeting will be called to... Veronica, what are you doing here? Why are the rangers with you? Forgive me, Madam Heidi. Veronica has asked us to call for a vote of confidence on your leadership. I know it is regular, but we would like to, to, that this meeting be, uh, this, be this meeting's first order of business. Uh, you want to try to vote me out? George, I don't think you realize the power I have here. I have the loyalty of every person on this council except maybe you. Then you shouldn't be afraid to vote, right? I, I, no, of course not. If you want to make a fool of yourself, now be my guest. Call your vote, but know this, friends. A vote against me is a vote against the utter destruction of Hollywood. Thank you, Madam Heidi. Then I will call for a show of hands. All in favor of asking Madam Heidi to step down from the state chairman of, of Hollywood Com Commerce and for uh, giving Mr. 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 Veronica the chairman in her place. 
I. I nay. I. I. I'm with you, Heidi, but I'm afraid the votes aren't. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. After all I've done for this town, after all I've done for each of you personally, you will pay for this treachery, all of you. Oh no. We're not done, are we? On behalf of all of us, congratulations. Now please, help us make peace with the Salvation Church. We are the representatives of the Church. They are ready to no negotiate. We are honored. My name is... In the name of peace, the Church is willing to overlook the victimless crimes of, prost of prostitution, gambling, and recreational drug use, but we cannot accept the true sins such as slavery and the chemical slavery of addiction. Until the slavers and dealers are, de some are dealt with something something... <laughs> well, we got a bone to pick with you too, sugar. You, uh, you can say our you say you want our slaves gone, but the church has some of its own. You call them penitents, but they're really just unpaid servants. You let them go, we'll clean this. Fuck. <laughs> Very well, it was an, in an inquisitive system. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Both sides have met their conditions. We will meet again in the side of the treaty. Council council's adjourned. Thank you, Rangers, for all you've done so far. But uh, uh, <laughs> could I ask you to help with one last thing? For the love of God. Her cause is just. It's the type of thing where I can read it. In, like if I was not if I was not doing a let's play, it's no big deal because I could just skim all that text and it's no big deal. But reading it out loud when it just there's no rhyme or reason to how long each speech bubble is going to be up, and some of them are huge, and some of them are small, and some of them are gone in two seconds. And you're like, God damn it! <laughs> what happened to the good old RPG staple of press X to continue? All right, so there. So apparently we can't fully reach peace until we get rid of the drugs and the slaves. I think we have to go to the sewers next, right? Peace is within our grasp, Rangers, but I know Heidi well enough to not let her down my guard. Unless we find her soon, she'll be back. With an army she charmed into working for her. I know we've asked you a, a lot of you already, but do you think you can track her down and ensure she doesn't return? Yes. She didn't have to run away, she could have just been normal, but she had to make a big deal about it. Thank you, Rangers. You will be the saviors of Hollywood. Oh, just a thought. You might want to go to Heidi's office and check her files. She may have had plans or notes on, on hiding places and secret passages. If you need me, I'll remain here. Farewell, Rangers. Now where's the story going? Alright. Help Heidi Hollander find out if Mistress Vernock is in love. Since Heidi's been voted out of the HTC, there's no need to complete this task. I notice. Alright. There's probably something new around here. There's one. Uh, cement peace between Hollywood and the Bastion by freeing Pentience and wiping out the salt dealers and the slavers. Well, the slavers are done with. Now we need to deal with the salt dealers. I get the feeling they're in the sewers or something. Veronica won the vote at the HCC meeting and Heidi didn't take it well. She ran off threatening vengeance and Veronica has asked us to take care of her. Uh, she was last seen heading to her office. Alright. Anything new else besides that? Nope. All right, so free the pentience. Uh, free the pentience. Uh, get rid of this the salt, the drugs, and uh, find Heidi. Three objectives, and also find this guy's brother that's following us around. Other details like that. So Heidi was headed to her office. Wait, her office is probably in this building, huh? My bad. Let's see where would her? Oh yeah. There was that door where we were that where that freaked out when we opened it a while ago. That was right by Veronica, right? So that's probably Heidi's office. That's the tough thing about this game sometimes is that everything's just a bunch of top-down rooms that look that all look the same. So you're never sure like, is that someone's office or is that a room I'm allowed to open? Let's see, explosive trap, 35% chance of success. Not the most encouraging. Well, I've quick saved. Now let's just bring out the Prunel. There we go. Don't follow me, random dude. I was worried he was gonna come after me. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Do not- Ow! Ow! Well, that guy's dead now. Well, that's happened twice now, hasn't it? What? Explosive traps just, just seem extreme in this universe. That is the wrong character. Oh, well. Sorry, bodyguard. What? No, don't try to lock... Really? Medical character? You're gonna try to lockpick the character following us around and not the door you're standing in front of? <laughs> it defaulted to trying to lockpick that dude. I don't even want to know what that would look like. 
This is the office, probably, right? Hey, bodyguard. Hey, a tiger handheld. Well, he he probably works for Heidi and was probably gonna kill me anyway, right? Yeah, let's use that as justification for the part where he died. What is this thing? A beautiful Art Deco office. Heidi must have ransacked every abandoned movie studio in Hollywood to find all this magnificent furniture. Naked statues lean out from the walls in all the corners, and a high window looks out onto the, the Hollywood Boulevard below. Ornate double doors dominate the left wall. At the base of the statue, you notice curving scratches in the floor, as if the statue was often moved out of the way. Tracing up the base of the statue in the arm, you notice a faint seam in the grind mark circling the shoulder. The arm has a is a lever. Alright. Don't. I, I meant to click on this thing. What? <laughs> Where it, ran all, it, it automatically locked onto that thing across the room instead of the thing I was just interacting with. Uh, yeah, I would definitely play this game again on PC rather than console. It's been an interesting experiment, and I played it on this platform because it's the one that people are most likely to look up online, because it's the more interesting thing, because it's been on PC for a year, but... What? A console version? Weird. But, uh, yeah, they, uh... It, it was not pulled off very well. <laughs> Definitely not as well as Divinity Original Sin, for example. Um... Like her office, Heidi's bedroom is an Art Deco wonderland with a canopied bed, sh uh, scalloped lighting fixtures, and... A, and a beautiful vanity. There is also a safe in one corner. Reinforced personal safe with a combination lock and a swinging door. Another explosive trap. God, our chance of success with explosive traps is so low. Oh well. If I separate the party, we can at least mostly sur be safe from my inevitable failure. At least only one character has to die. Or get blown the crap up. At least there's no alarm on this one. Ah! Oh. They make critical failures startling in this game because they can happen at any point over the over the course of this thing filling up. And it's always a little bit of a surprise. Nope. I'm just expecting that, ex that boom at any second. <laughs> Ow. Really just not nice. Well, at least there's no negative condition on my character. Alright. Who's good at computer science? 91% chance, damn. Wow. Our little doctor's really pre pre gotten a lot of progress out of all these skills here. The salt lab key card. Whoa. So she's behind the salt in the first place, that piece of shit. <laughs> this key card will unlock the door to the salt lab in Hollywood sewers. The salt lab is it? So the salt lab is in the sewers. And this leads to the sewers. Well, I guess we're exploring the sewers now. It was inevitable at some point. Let's just try not to get our follower killed along the way. As we do our coup. I think I'm actually gonna cut it here, guys. Yeah. So next episode, we're gonna explore these sewers and find what we can, and proceed onward into wrapping up this storyline. But yeah, but uh, right now the the right people are in the leadership of both groups, and we just need to iron out a few issues to make them work together, yeah, to make basically all their followers get along more, and then we'll have peace between these two places. And since come to think of it, I already have the key, so I could just install the, install the radio thing and move on, but you know, the, it's the duty of the Desert Rangers to try to make these places work out. So next episode, we'll try to f de deal with the salt lab that's supposed to be somewhere down here, and Heidi, who has run off somewhere. And then we'll see what else takes, what, what, uh, where things take us from there. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I will see you next time.